Hello everybody, I'm Dhanashri and uh, welcome to my channel. I know I'm meeting you guys after a long time. A lot has happened in the lo lockdown. And uh, after lockdown, to be honest, uh, to sum it up, uh, basically uh, I was diagnosed with PCOD. Then I had a miscarriage. Then uh, lockdown happened. Um, then uh, we lost weight, me and my husband. Then we got pregnant again and now my baby is one year old. <laughs> so yeah, that's a lot of things to sum it up. So I honestly wasn't in the mood to do makeup or hairstyles or any sort of that thing. So I haven't been uploading much. Uh, but I'm trying to get back on the schedule. And from here onwards, my channel's um, view is not going to be just makeup. I'm a mom now and I don't think uh, like I... Um, <laughs> just doing makeup and hairstyles is not my life uh, these days uh, so I would like to show different things in my daily life uh, I wouldn't vlog but I would want to show different things on my channel as well so my channel is going to change a little bit there will still be makeup and hairstyles of course but there will be other things uploaded as well I hope you will like them too uh, so let's get back to today's review. Uh, I'm reviewing this uh, sugar foundation today. This is uh, uh, claimed to be a 24 hour lasting foundation, full coverage foundation by sugar. And I have used it uh, on a few of my clients too. And I've used it on myself too. I'll insert a picture here. We recently had, uh, so we bought a house last year and we recently had a Vastu Puja done. And on that time, this was the first time I used this foundation. Uh, I used to use MAC before, but I was tired of using MAC. So I wanted to give something else a try. Uh, it is indeed near to full coverage. And uh, it is a creamy thick foundation. Let me show you. Now, I'm not going to go into packaging and all. The packaging and all is fine. The price point is also fine. It comes in 15 uh, shades. Uh, 15 shades is a good starting point for any brand I feel uh, it comes in a tube form like this and it is a very moosey uh, creamy uh, textured foundation it is quite thick to be honest and when you apply it it is a bit of a sticky foundation that's one thing I don't like much about it uh, so why I tell you so I'm going to put this foundation on my face right now and uh, so you'll get a good enough picture of how this looks as a finish and everything and it does not oxidize much so that's a plus point it just uh, I think it just blends with your skin and makes it um, kind of like um, it makes it look like your skin uh, color so it doesn't oxidize much so that's like the best part about this so if you can use it on brights as well and everything but remember if you are a makeup artist and you're using it please do not put this foundation on your on your clients eyelids or even your eyelids because one time what happened one time what happened I put this on my uh, clients eyelids I generally do that I sometimes do that instead of using a concealer I'll just use a foundation to cover the eyelids but that cost me a lot um, the eyeshadows were not blending this became so sticky and uh, just just don't put it near uh, over your eyelids or wherever you want to when you want to do eyeshadows okay so now I've put about one and a half uh, pump you can call it now this foundation is not my shade I'll tell you that uh, let me check which shade is this this is I think 07 vanilla latte shade it's not my shade. I Whenever I buy makeup, I don't buy it for myself. I buy it from my client's perspective. I um, Because we makeup artists generally have two, three foundations already and we mix and match and uh, try to make the perfect shade for the client. So, but apart from the shade, let's just get into the finish. I'll uh, put in the comments box what will be my shade from this range. I'll have to search a little bit more. Uh, but this I think is one shade lighter to me. One shade darker would be my shade. Yes. So 
So you see in just this much pea sized amount itself this has covered so much but as you can see see it is like a sticky my sponge sticks to this uh, foundation like it's a bit sticky so I don't like putting it near uh, the eyes if you have fine lines but if you are aged you have uh, wrinkles on your face or uh, texture a lot of texture then maybe this is may not be the great suit for you so I'll give you guys a close up of what it looks like alright so now I'm done applying this foundation as you can see um, it covers up marks and blemish as well but on its by itself like uh, if you try to put just this foundation all by itself the application is a little difficult since I told you it's a little bit of a on the sticky side and um, I my always a go-to foundation is any liquid foundation liquid foundations are fabulous to apply easy to apply you don't need extra stuff to blend them or anything but creamy foundations I generally never go for uh, when I use this for my uh, Vastu Puja, I remember I had uh, put a little bit of uh, MAC uh, Studio Fix uh, and 50-50 uh, of uh, MAC uh, liquid foundation and 50 of uh, this foundation. So if you mix it with any other liquid foundation, then the application and the finish would be really great. But all by itself, mm, I mean... <laughs> um, it's not that great uh, to be very honest and as it because you know when you try to put it it you have to drag your sponge to blend it you literally have to drag it so if you just do this like it's not gonna blend well you literally have to drag the foundation to make it look even and smooth but otherwise oxidation wise this doesn't oxidize much coverage is good um, and other things are good as well uh, like the price point and etc is good uh, so if you want to use it you can use it but remember mix it with some liquid foundation or a face oil and then you'll get a perfect finish I hope this review was a bit helpful for you I <laughs> I don't have the time to do full phase of makeup right now my baby is sleeping and I'm trying to do a video while <laughs> before she wakes up uh, but uh, thank you for being with me um, I hope uh, you are I'm so thankful that you're still subscribed to my channel I'm deeply deeply grateful for it and I'll try to put up uh, weekly content from here onwards uh, thank you for joining me and see you soon bye Mwah.